Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. As you guys can see, I'm standing next to a 2022 Tesla Model 3. As you guys can see, it's actually charged right now here at South Day Kia. Special thanks to Cello for letting me film the Model 3 here. But let's look at the charging time for the vehicle. As you guys know, it's a Tesla, very unique looking door handles. Uh, right now, the car is saying it's gonna take five hours and 55 minutes. And I think the, the dealership here has a level two charger. So this one is kind of okay to charge if you guys are trying to like charge a vehicle overnight, but you can DC fast, uh, DC fast charge a Tesla as well. Like I mentioned, I think this is a level two charger. As you guys can see, it says electric vehicle parking only. So it does fit this, you know, beautiful description here. And also the car is blue as well. But let's get into the video here of the Tesla Model 3. Let's talk about pricing here for the Tesla Model 3 with rear wheel drive. Starting price is at $35,000, including destination, also with the blue exterior paint, the refreshed wheels. This one stickers for $49,690. Let's talk about the front styling of the Tesla Model 3. The day is finally here, guys, and I'm reviewing the Tesla Model 3. This is updated for 2022. We're talking about some of the changes that Tesla has made for the Model 3. But like I mentioned, the day has finally come. I'm finally reviewing the Tesla Model 3. I told you guys I would be that I would have been reviewing the Tesla Model 3 about three and a half years ago. But as you guys can see, it's 2022. And now I'm reviewing the car. It is painted in this beautiful shade of deep metallic blue, which is, of course, an option. But let's look at some of the changes that Tesla has made here for the Model 3. There's no more reflector LED headlights here. Tesla has switched it out to this LED projector light. That's an LED daytime run light, LED turn signal. But the automatic high beam lights are still a reflector here. And you still get the fault lights here at the lower part of the fascia. There's this area here to put an air curtain over the brakes and wheels. That's from parking sensors. And of course, you guys know this is an electric vehicle, so it does not need it does not need a large grill to keep the engine cool because it does not need an engine. It uses the actual it uses a battery pack. There's the Tesla logo on top of the hood. Open up this, it does reveal the frunk, which it does offer a lot of space. Some other competitors don't even offer a frunk. I'm talking about the Hyundai and Kia. They do, but it's very, very small. You could probably put a small uh, a a small phone or basically the uh, charger for that electric vehicle but the tesla as you guys can see offers more space unfortunately like the mustang mach e this does not have a actual drain plug so if you guys wanted to put some beverages or ice in here you can do that but keep in mind you have to basically drain it out uh, manually and there's this little release here just in case you guys want to put someone in there which i recommend not doing there's the wiper fluid there so just in case you guys wanted to change uh, or add more wiper fluid to the vehicle you can definitely do that unfortunately the front is not powered to close but it's powered to open through the infotainment system we'll talk about that once we get inside the interior but looking at the side profile here of the model 3 this has a 113.2 inch wheelbase with an overall lift of 184 uh, inches um i forgot to mention i'm not a big fan of the alien like look that the model 3 has but one lady she just commented and said that she likes the vehicle so looks can be subjective looking at these tires and wheels here these are a two 35 40 continental tire they're wrapped in this 19 inch rim design keep in mind these rim designs are a refresh so they're going to be additional option there's also the tesla brake calipers there i wish my model came with the red brake calipers unfortunately they're going to be a, a gray finish so it kind of gets lost behind the multi-spoke uh, rim design here and tesla for 2022 they did uh, dark out some chrome uh, or aluminum trim throughout the vehicle as you guys can see this the camera mount is going to be uh, black painted underneath the uh, mirror cap here unfortunately there's no led indicator here on the side uh, mirror cap but all models three still comes with this full glass roof we'll talk about that once we get inside the interior as you guys can see really quickly my model does have the white interior which is very beautiful but we're making our way to the rear of the tesla model three of course it's an electric vehicle so it does have full led tail lights which is a turn signal brake light and reverse light there's the tesla logo there looking down here at the low part of the rear bumper there's we're parking sensors there's these multi-reflectors integrated into the bumper of course there's no exhaust trim because it's a full-on electric vehicle there's the led lights for the tag that's the backup camera of course and on this side of the vehicle you hit this button right here or this area this is where you charge the vehicle at and you just kind of like get a little bit of pressure and it will close back looking at the cargo back here for 2022 tesla now gives us a power operating feature it, this has around 19.8 cubic feet of space which is super impressive this is the mobile charger here and underneath the low floor tesla does give you some very 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 deep storage so you guys can put a lot of things in there and whatnot and off to the left side there's some uh, cubby storage here and you can also fold the seats down to do a 60 40 split once you fold the seats down it expands the cargo to 22 9 cubic feet of space which is super impressive 
and you can also press this button here and the trunk will power operating uh, closed by itself. But overall, let's hop into the interior of the Tesla Model 3. Before getting into the interior of the Tesla Model 3, as you guys can see, this is the key card for the vehicle. It says Tesla on the front. On back of the key, uh, key card here, it does show you instructions how to lock and unlock the vehicle. As you guys can see, the vehicle is locked. Just rest the card here and the mirrors will power unfold and you open up the door, of course. As you guys can see, my model does have this beautiful white interior, which is really nice. It looks really good with the blue exterior. But getting inside the Tesla Model 3 here, really good stepping height from this vehicle. And to start everything, just rest the key card here. But as you guys can see, for 2022, Tesla did make some slight, very, very, very slight changes for um, the interior. As you guys can see now, there's this white portion here on the actual uh, dashboard and also on the door panel. But shutting the door here, starting the vehicle up, of course, you guys know, put your foot on the brake and the vehicle is ready to drive once you put it into drive there. But let's talk about the materials here on the actual door panel. Really nice leather material. Like I mentioned, I like this nice white uh, trim here. That's nice stitching. This area is gonna be nice and padded. And just in case there was an emergency or the battery dies, just put pull this handle here. That's how you get out of the vehicle. Or you can press this button here, like I mentioned. Only use this for emergencies. Tesla recommends that you only use it just in case the battery dies and whatnot. This area here is gonna be very large for additional storage and cup holder space. The switch gear feels nice. It is auto up, auto down for all for, for all for windows. Nice suede Alcantara material here on the door panel. I like this nice thick rim here. There's the Tesla logo on the actual airbag cover. This is how you adjust the volume controls and whatnot. This right here is the this is a 15 inch display. This is basically the brains of this vehicle uh, because there's no other uh, buttons besides the switch gear here for the windows. Also, the the buttons here for on the steering wheel. Very thick rim. Very nice high quality stitching. There's the wind wiper and turn signal stock. This is how you put the vehicle into drive, neutral, reverse, and park. You switch up to go into reverse. As you guys can see, it does show you a very bright uh, backup camera there. There's trajectory. There's front and rear parking sensors. And to put into drive, just click down on the stock and the vehicle is ready to go. You click in for P for park and it will put on the electronic parking brake the, depending on where you're parked at. As you guys can see, very bright uh, display here. And as you guys can see, I can also look up uh, super char uh, superchargers uh, throughout my area. There's a lot of them around here. Tesla has one of the best uh, infrastructures for uh, charging. Some other competitors are trying to uh, keep up with Tesla, but Tesla is basically the king when it comes to uh, charging your vehicle. But like I mentioned, this is the brains and operation of this vehicle here. There's the pedals and steering feel. You can have it at a chill standard uh, for acceleration. Steering mode, there's going to be comfort standard and sport. So it does uh, tighten up the uh, steering once you guys put it into sport. We'll talk about that in the actual test drive. There's a stop mode. There's creep, roll, and hold. So it will bring the vehicle to a complete stop. This is your charging right now. The vehicle is saying it has 41% of charge. You can also adjust the charging capacity. You can have it at 50% or 60, 70, whatever percent you guys would like um, to charge the vehicle. I, I think Tesla only recommends that you use 100% of the charge if you're going on a long road trip. And as you guys are navigating on your road trip, it will tell you where there's superchargers at and whatnot. This one does have the autopilot feature. So it will basically keep in your lanes. We'll talk about that in the actual driving scene. There's your lock controls there. It does give you the option for uh, keys or you can use your phone and whatnot. There's your lights. You can also turn on the dome lighting here. As you guys can see, now the lights are on. I can turn them off via this uh, infotainment system here. I uh, have the headlights on auto. I'm going to leave the dome lighting on auto just in case. There's the display here. You can also lower the display and whatnot going here. You can also access some games. You can play card games if you guys are at a charging station. I'm going here to theater, you have Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, TikTok. You also have YouTube. Let's go to YouTube real quick and see. As you guys see, it does boot up the system really quick, so you won't be bored. Let me see if I can uh, pull up my YouTube channel. Uh, let's go to Drive on Reviews. And I'm going to be the. Oh, no, click the wrong one. <laughs> uh, going here. But as you guys can see, this is super, uh, really good technology here. Oh, no, I can't spell. No, I can't. Oh, there we go. Okay. So you guys, as you guys can see here, it will play, but I do have the audio turned down, but I did pause the video. It's going to be some of my uh, latest uh, reviews here. If you guys know, you guys have been watching the channel for a long time, but as you guys can see, really good uh, tech that Tesla offers. You can also open and close the uh, frunk and the front. You can also open up the rear trunk, but you can lock it. Once you guys do that, you can hit a little chime. You can also open up the charge door if you would like. As you guys can see there in the in the mirror, hopefully you guys can see it, the charge door is open and you can 
close it by clicking that back and going here there's bluetooth settings unfortunately tesla does not offer wireless apple carplay or android auto so i think that's uh, uh, one of the features that i would think that the vehicle should have but there's going to be these little uh there's, there's these two areas here to put your phone my iphone 13 pro max does fit there just fine open this tray back here it does reveal some very deep storage it's lined with felt there's two cup holders here and tesla got rid of that finicky sensor door there that used to get upset when you used to slam it down too hard you have to basically click it very gently but now you have the sliding door here so you can open it aggressively aggressively if you like the materials on the dash gonna be a nice soft touch ejection with the plastic with that nice uh, white trim there this area is gonna be nice and padded it does reveal some good storage in there the seats in there they're supportive they're comfortable i like i like the nice white seats that tesla offers and above me there's this large glass roof but there's this bar that kind of eats into the actual visibility that's this frameless mirror here which is very upscale and to open up the glove compartment here, let me go here really quickly. If I remember correctly, okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't know how to open this glove compartment, but let me see if I can do it really quick on camera. Because like I mentioned, this is the brains and operation of this vehicle. So you guys will have to get used to, you know, looking for different uh, things and whatnot. Uh, me personally, guys, there you go. You hit glove box and it does display the owner, the owner's manual. It's also aligned with felt, which is really nice. So all the controls for the mirror adjustment controls, like you can power fold the mirrors in, as you guys can see, they will fold in and out. You can also put on the child lock there so your children can't open the door. Let's hit steering wheel controls. As you guys can see here really quickly, you can also adjust the steering wheel controls. It does give you like a little um, tutorial there how to do it and whatnot. There's recordings, there's the mirror controls, uh, the sensory. So if you guys park your car and someone gets too close, it will basically record uh, what's going on around the vehicle. But overall, this interior is very upscale and very modern, but I wish Tesla would offer uh, like a display here to show you your speed and, and charging time instead of having everything in the actual display here, which is a nice 15 inch display, very bright screen, like I mentioned, but the technology is good. The interior is very simple and very modern in a sense but let's hop into the back seat getting into the back seat of the tesla model 3 open up the door like i mentioned very unique looking door handles here but as you guys can see there's plenty of space in the back seat of the model 3 getting back here tesla says this has around 35.2 inches of legroom unfortunately underneath the driver's seat here it is very tight to put your feet under so keep that in mind there's also two map pockets for storage there's rear air vents here two type c ports the floor back here is completely flat so you can fit three people across like i mentioned i do like this nice white interior it looks really good with the blue exterior there's this coat uh, hanger here you guys can probably put your jacket and whatnot like i mentioned very beautiful glass that you can see out of this vehicle as well especially with the white interior there's led lights here this bar kind of eats into the actual visibility but it does offer these bright led lights back here looking at the door panel materials very quickly nice leather material nice stitching here the suede alcantara the switch gear is very up to part large storage bin here but overall the back seat of the tesla model 3 does offer really good space and it does feel very comfortable back here so starting the driving scene off here in the tesla model 3 rear wheel drive so this is the base uh, model tesla but it does offer still very nice tech really nice and simple a cabin here as you guys can see i'm stopped and there's a icon of the uh, stop sign there so tesla has been updating their software over the years this car was introduced back in 2017 and tesla has sold over 500,000 units here in america so it does not even qualify for the federal tax credit anymore because it surpassed the 200,000 um, uh, marker limit but let's talk about some performance specs here tesla is one of the hardest companies to find specs on for electric vehicles i was legit searching the web for like a good 30 uh, 30 to 45 minutes as you guys can see here this vehicle gets up very quickly this is a one speed gear this makes 283 horsepower and 307 pound feet of torque and on a full charge tesla says this uh, has uh, this can get up to 272 miles of all electric range um, this also has a 7.7 .7 onboard uh, kilowatt charger if you guys um, use a 240 or 220 volt it's going to take eight and a half hours so it's very slow like i showed you guys in the beginning of the video it said it was going to take around five, five hours and 50 minutes uh, to charge up the vehicle um, so like i mentioned i think that was a level two charge i'm not sure if it's a 220 volt or 240 volt but it will take a long charge so most people would probably just charge overnight you can also dc fast charge the vehicle it does come with a j1772 
But as you guys can see, like I mentioned, very simple cabin. And in front of me is Tesla's uh, most popular vehicle as of now is the Tesla Model Y. As you guys can see, it's basically just a lifted up version of the Model 3. It just offers a third row. Let's follow this Model 3 here. I mean, this Model Y. But as you guys can see, instantaneous performance. And this vehicle gets up to speed very quickly here. Uh, Tesla says 0 to 60 for the base model here is at 5.8 seconds. If you guys go for the performance model, which it looks very similar to this, um, it might have the Uber turbine like finished wheels to it. And it does have the little uh, dual, motor, dual motor badge on the back. Tesla says that will get uh, 0 to 60 in 3.3 seconds. So it will shave off um, nearly uh, two and a half seconds of performance time if you guys go for the dual motor. And as you guys can see, all of a sudden I see a bunch of electric vehicles. I just seen the Audi, which is full on electric. There's a, a Model Y in front of me. Of course, I'm driving the Model 3. But let's set the uh, controls here. As you guys can see, I recommend to keep your hands on the wheel at all times, even on the bottom of the system here, once you engage the actual uh, controls here, it says, please keep your hands on the steering wheel. This does have the autopilot. Um, as you guys see, if I watch the signal left here, it will show me what's next to me. But that camera quality looks very trash compared to the backup camera. So Tesla, I think you guys should work on the software update. Let's talk about the seat comfort in here. This does offer lumbar support. Uh, it does feel really good in here. But I do I do hear an echo when once I raise my voice, which I kind of find it to be very strange. Um, I'm not sure why Tesla didn't use better sound, sound detonant materials in their vehicles, but I can actually hear myself a little bit. Like I mentioned, guys, I'm kidding you not. There's another model, uh, another model three, uh, right there. But once you guys, see, once you guys drive a certain vehicle, you're gonna see it constantly a lot. And like I mentioned, Tesla has sold a lot of vehicles uh, here. And as you guys see, I'm going under this green light here, and it does display that right here on the actual uh, display. Like I mentioned, this is the brains and operation of the vehicle. So if you guys wanted to adjust the steering wheel, adjust the mirrors, um, you know, turn on the dome lighting, or you can physically just press the button there. But all the all the controls are gonna be literally in this infotainment system. So Tesla, if you're watching this video, hope you guys will reconsider offering a heads up display. I know Elon Musk, that's not like heads up displays, but I think there's some uh, tech or, you know, offer something different that some customers would want to see most people yeah that's cool and whatnot to see a screen that has literally everything on it but at the end of the day i think some people would love to see something in front of them instead of looking over to the right side to see how fast they're going which i think is kind of uh, distracting in a sense but as you guys can see here the vehicle is literally driving itself but no you can't go to sleep no you can't get out the driver's seat and sit in the passenger seat you can't do that because the vehicle would know and it will turn off the autopilot once it uh senses that there's someone sitting in the seat but if i were to floor it here <laughs> surprisingly the car uh, didn't get mad at me for going over the uh for going a little over the speed limit there normally it would it, it would turn off the uh, autopilot once it uh, senses that you're not going the speed limit as you guys can see now it's getting now it's telling me to put my hands on the wheel i'm gonna i'm gonna ignore it and see what it does most likely it's gonna turn the system off or is yeah it's gonna turn it off but it, it's still it's still on but now you guys can see there's a red indicator there to tell me to put my hands on the wheel and it's slowing down because it's think it's thinking that i'm not paying attention anymore okay my hands are on the wheel <laughs> now that it senses that my hands are on the wheel as you guys can see, the, the car is very smart. It knows that I wasn't um, quote unquote paying attention. So like I mentioned, you can't get out the driver's seat to get in the passenger seat or get in the back and whatnot because it's, it's not gonna work because the car knows that you physically got out of the seat. But we're gonna do a launch here and see, like I mentioned, Tesla says zero to 60 in 5.8 seconds. But let's see what we can do here. Let's come to a stop. There's a little bit of lag there, but once you get it up, <laughs> this car is fast, but right now I'm doing 40 miles an hour. Once you get it in this uh, a top speed and whatnot, the vehicle just feels so much faster instead of you, um, you know, use flooring it from an actual stop. It just feels so much quicker and it pushes you in the seat which you, you can do that in a combustion engine car. Me personally, I still feel like I'm in the ice age, which quote unquote, internal combustion, in, internal combustion engine, because I just feel like gas cars are more superior uh, compared to electric cars. 
I want you guys to let me know in the comment section what you guys think about that uh, statement. Me personally, you go to a gas station, you're there less than five minutes. With this car, you probably can, you know, DC fast charge your car in a quick time, but you're just never gonna be a gas powered car. Right now, like I mentioned, this is the base Model 3, so you have 272 miles of all electric range on a full charge. But in a gas power car, like I have a Honda Civic Sport Touring now, guys, if you guys didn't know, that car has literally 400 plus miles of cruising range, which is 200 plus miles, 200 plus more miles of range here. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a little bit more maintenance because there's sensors that might go out. Same thing with this vehicle and whatnot. But yeah, with, with electric cars, there's less maintenance to do. But at the same time, gas cars are gonna be more superior when it comes to, you know, range, especially when it comes to, you know, filling up your car and a quick time just in case you guys were in the rush and whatnot but let me know in the comment section what you guys think do you guys still think that internal combustion engine is still the way to go or you think the electric way is to go yes i know a lot of manufacturers are stopping production on some of their uh, gas power cars and they're switching over to electric but me personally i just feel like we're not there in a sense um when it comes to electric vehicles yeah it's really cool but i think around like four percent of people buy plug-in variants uh hybrid models or full-on electric vehicles people still buy diesel they still buy uh, turbocharged engines and whatnot so let me know in the comment section what you guys th think about the tesla model 3 but if you guys are looking for and the ultimate king of the segment when it comes to sales and you know when it comes to sales the tesla model 3 does not disappoint after spending time with the 2022 Tesla Model 3 with Rear Wheel Drive, hope you guys have enjoyed this review here. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Drive on Reviews and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you all in the next review.